Over the years, medical developments show genetic testing can go a long way to managing the risks of certain cancers. And last night, our own Megan Woods took us through her personal journey and figuring out with her family history of cancer, whether she had the BRCA gene mutation, putting her at higher risk of developing breast cancer herself. And she took our local four cameras along that scary journey with her, which is awfully brave. Well, now she joins us here live in the studio this morning to explain how this testing process works and why it's so important. Well, when it comes to cancer genetic testing, everyone's why is different. I did it because both of my grandmothers had breast cancer as well as their siblings, and I needed to know if that's something they passed down to me. The big picture is that this is more of a proactive approach to cancer rather than a reactive one. Genetic testing for something as serious as cancer can start off intimidating, but Dr. Dana Zakalik, director of Corwell Health's Genetic Cancer Center, says it's worth it. We have wonderful interventions, very effective interventions for risk reduction, early detection, and even therapies. But what do our genetics have to do with cancer? Many cancers can be hereditary, including breast, ovarian, and prostate cancer. For black men, prostate cancer uh, has a genetic component, and we know that prostate cancer is more common in black men, tends to also be more aggressive. So when you make an appointment with Dr. Zakalik, you first meet with a genetic counselor like Alexis Gallant. She explained not only do they look at your family tree, but you as an individual. We have a specific set of genes um, that are called cancer genes, and typically their job is to help protect you from developing cancer. Um, but sometimes people can be born with a change in a gene. So basically you can think of it as like a spelling change. So, you know, there's missing letters, there's rearranged letters or extra letters. Those changes could mean that gene doesn't work properly. So instead of protecting you from that cancer, it could put you at an increased risk. To screen for it, the Genetic Cancer Center draws blood and sends that to a lab. We actually test for 47 genes that are associated with cancer. 47. So, yeah, so quite a lot. Um, and it's basically looking at all of these and spell checking them. Dr. Zakalik believes that while the results are valuable, there's a lack of awareness, especially among the people who need it. Amongst black women, um, breast cancer tends to be more aggressive. It gets diagnosed at more advanced stages and tends to have a worse prognosis. Um, we try to uh, calculate women's risk of breast cancer based on hormonal factors and family history. And that I don't believe is being done as commonly uh, for black women as it is for other women. They're also getting the word out to their colleagues in the medical field. We're really trying to raise awareness amongst our medical students and young doctors to take a family history, know the genetics, but we want women to be equal partners in their health care uh, and be aware and be educated and ask for those screening uh, tests that they know that they hear about are important for early detection. So that's what happened to me. I had told my doctor months ago that I was thinking about testing for the BRCA gene mutation and they brushed it off, told me that it was only necessary if my mom or aunt had breast cancer. So I took my test at Corwell Health, William Beaumont University Hospital, and it came back negative for the gene mutation. And that doctor reminded me how important it is to be my own advocate.